Hello viewers, I am Dr. Rahul Reddy from AndroCare Andrology Institute. In this video, we will discuss about micro TSA procedure. This is a rare surgery and more advanced surgery for people with zero sperm count where uh, they could not find any sperm in the uh, testicular biopsy. This procedure is like a boon for them. In at least 40 percent of these people where the uh, sperm was not found in regular TSA procedure, we can find sperms in micro TSA procedure. So, what is this procedure? So, where it can be done? That means, see this cannot be done in any, any like a, any other hospital. This needs a setup. This needs a very high end uh, surgical operating microscope with at least 25 to 30 x magnification. And a micro TSA procedure is a teamwork. Only surgeon is not enough. Uh, you need surgeon, you need embryology team because for surgeon it may take 1 to 2 hours for the procedure because it is a slow procedure. You have to open the testes without damaging the testicular tissue. Uh, you have to uh, examine the uh, testicular tissue under microscope. You have to uh, with layer by layer you have to slowly uh, search for the tissue and whenever you see healthy tissue, you have to take that healthy tissue and immediately send it to embryology lab. In the embryology lab again this takes at least 2 to 4 hours for uh, embryology technician to uh, tease the tissue, te tease the tissue and look for spams. So, this is a time taking procedure. So, only if this cannot be done in uh, very busy IVF centers where there are uh, 10 IVFs per day or uh, 10 cases per day because it is a time taking procedure. So, that is why generally micro TCS we do not do on regular days. We actually see how busy is the embryologist on particular day then only we will plan this micro TCS procedure. So, this can be done in only a uh, few centers in Hyderabad or in India. So, now what happens is when uh, during the procedure there are two scenarios. One whether micro TSA procedure has to be done on the day of IVF or initially you have to do micro TSA procedure and then freeze the sperms and start the wife's procedure. This is always a controversy. So, what happens if suppose there are very few sperms normally what happens once we get the sperms we will we will freeze them at minus 198 degrees centigrade in liquid nitrogen. So, sometimes what happens these frozen sperms once you try to retrieve them or uh, we call it as thawing procedure where uh, you bring them back from the freezing some sperms may die. So, there is chance that all, all the sperms may, uh, may die during this procedure. So, now my suggestion or in general what can be done is because this is the last chance for, uh, for us to get the sperms. For micro TSA procedure generally what we do we prepare the wife on the day of IVF we do micro TSA procedure. So, that we do not have to waste the testicular tissue whatever sperms we get we can freeze. But in some centers some IVF centers there is advanced uh, sperm freezing uh, method or techniques like straw method. So, even if there are 3 to 4 sperms we can freeze them. If we are working with that kind of uh, IVF center then freezing is not an issue. We can do micro TCA in the beginning and uh, we can later after, uh, after 3 months, 6 months or 1 year uh, whenever uh, his wife is ready for IVF we can uh, thaw them and we can do IVF. So, now regarding this micro TSA we will try to uh, make videos, we will uh, we'll show you how the uh, tissue looks uh, uh, testicular tissue healthy testicular tissue looks, how to uh, tease this tissue, uh, what instruments are uh, used in this tissue, uh, we will try to make videos regarding this keep watching. Thank, thanks for watching this video.